I've always believed in doing things by hand. The more mechanical advantages you get, the less need you have to communicate with people. It dehumanizes the, the whole thing. At my mid 40s, I decided, you know, this work that I'm doing is totally meaningless to me. You know, going out there and putting three bags on and uh, making a bunch of money. So I decided I, I, I'm going to try not to have to do this. And uh, that's when I decided to farm. When I went to another farm that was more industrialized and I did a lot of tractor driving, I found it quite lonely and, and um, boring, you know, and that's supposed to be an improvement, you know. You know? I figure uh, working from the heart and working with a sense of freedom is, uh, you, you gotta have the balance, eh? You have to have the discipline to get up in the morning. You have to be courageous and, and you have to put up with uh, discomfort and uh, all this stuff. But I love my place here. It feels like home. Uh, this is the uh, most at home I feel in any place since I left my, the place I was born. This is where I decided in the world to settle down. Back in 1979, I traveled from place to place and I carried all everything I owned in it and I put my, had my canoe on top and uh, I didn't realize back then but that was his last voyage when I come up here. Over the years, it accumulated a lot, of, a lot more books and now it's known as a library. So. I've never been really big in doing stuff for myself. And it, it has to be bigger. What motivates me is working with other people. You might think that I spend a lot of time on my own, but I don't. Eh? Most of my connection with people is through the stuff I do. But over the years, I've had a number of people that come work with me, usually informal, but they come and they, some of them stay and some of them don't stay. And that's the way I find the good in humans, the people I work with. I find out who they are and what they're made of. To me, the biggest tragedy is that there's people today with, that they don't know why they're alive. They don't know why they're on this earth. Is it to play computer games or what? Uh, is it for kids that they get really good at mountain bike riding or something? It leaves people helpless. That it's all about fun. And what we do is fun. When you're on the land and you're farming, your life is full, and it's almost too full. And the, the water, the purpose of the water is to uh, clean out the, so it takes the fines out from grinding. And then, uh, otherwise it loses its abrasive power if you don't have it wet. Eh? Ah, 
yeah. That's better than it was. Yeah. If you go and work in a um, automobile factory and you put uh, four bolts in a radiator and that's all you know how to do, you're dependent on on being in a certain way with your superiors, otherwise you lose your job. Uh, you can't be real. If you uh, have a mortgage, you have to say and do things that you don't want to do. It limits, it limits a whole lot of things about you. If I take a day off, that's probably the worst thing for me. Because then I get to think. <laughs> I do too much of it already. When I, when I start sitting, uh, then pretty soon, you know, after about two days, I'm just waiting for the sky to fall. For me, action is a difficult thing, but it's also um, ne really necessary. You don't succumb to your pains and aches and uh, tiredness or whatever. You have you exert your will power to to do what you have to do. I got to be there whether I feel like it or not. One of my favorite poems is uh, "Rage Against the Dying of the Light." Eh? as by Dylan Thomas. You're fighting, going down. And you know, that's pretty much where I, where I live, how I live my life. 